Anthony, first off, just how much are you in, enjoying life at Lincoln City? Yeah, I love it. Um, really good ever since I joined last end of January, Feb. Um, I was only here for about five, six weeks. And obviously, with COVID, got cut short. So, came back this pre season and really settled in the group with all the lads and on the pitch. Everything's gone well. So, I'm loving it. Uh, how difficult is it at this moment in time when you've got such competition for places in those wide areas? Um, obviously, you know, everybody wants to play. And it's just when you get your chance on the pitch, you have to do the best you can. And obviously, in the games I've done so far, I've done well contributing with goals and assists but the main thing is the team's winning you know obviously as a group you want to be part of a team that's winning and um, so that's the main thing as long as the team's winning I'm ready whenever the manager needs me. It certainly seems this season under the manager that there's a lot more attacking intent there's a lot more creativity in those forward areas do you think that's come through the likes of yourself settling in a little bit more and, and getting to know who you're playing with? Um, yeah uh, obviously when the team all the players know each other better and um, you know each other game better, so you know what some players like. But also as well, the squad was put together fairly early, so we had a good pre-season together to work on things on the pitch. Um, and as you can see, the things are coming out on the pitch that we're working on, so as the season progresses on, we're only going to get better in the attacking areas. I think probably goalkeeper aside, you're going to be very lucky to play the majority of the games this season because they're coming thick and fast. Is that in a way a good thing as a player because you know you're going to need to be called upon because there are so many games? Yeah, obviously, with the amount of games we're going to have this season, um, all players are going to be used. The manager's already told us that it's going to be rotation and lots of players are going to play this season. That's why it's important that you do keep yourself ready whenever you play. Um, and as well as that, if we're winning games and people are coming out, you need to be able to go in and continue that winning run. And the performance is to be high, so everybody will be ready to play. Uh, Zach got the Irish under-21s call up last time. I know the, the manager there was talking about you not being too far off. Is there a little bit of inter-team rivalry between you and Zach as to who gets called up? No, no, absolutely not. Not at all. No, uh, obviously, club football is you know, what you do. You do that every week. And then the international is just a bonus that comes. Obviously, it's an honour to play for your country when you get the call, but no. No, nothing like that to me and Zach at all. Ha, absolutely it must, be, it must be good to have that kind of, you know, that there that, that could be two of you, you know, two of you, maybe even with Sean, obviously, coming up as well. You know, there's, there's a number of players vying for, for international duty, though, isn't it? It must be great to, to be part of that. Yeah, it's good, the international, when they come. But as I said, it, that's, just a, that's just a nice thing to do, to get called for your country. Obviously, it's an honour to do it. But the main focus has to be our club. You know, you're playing well for your club and things are going well for your club. You put yourself in a better position for international. And how are you finding League One football? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm uh, really enjoying it. I feel, I feel good when I'm playing. Um, obviously, it's different. Only not so long ago, I just came out of academy football. Um, so to jump straight in, I've really enjoyed it. I love the whole way the game is played and the different teams you come up against. And yeah, I'm only going to get better. So it's been good. And you're somebody who's a high energy, high intensity player and doesn't mind getting stuck in. So I guess the way Lincoln play really suits you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm like that every day, really. Um, so it's just the way I am, the way I play. Um, and yeah, as you said, the way we play at Lincoln it suits me a lot. Um, I like to be high energy, and as the, with the manager, and as we showed this season, that's how the team's been. So it suits all around together. Lovely, thank you, mate. Cheers, thanks. Um, hi, Anthony. Um, hi. How are you coping with all the uh, COVID regulations and, and pre and post match and stuff like that, and, and all the rules you have to stick to? Are you just used to it now? Yeah, we're just used to it now. Obviously, the main the main thing that we're kind of used to now because it's happened before, we don't really like it. Is obviously the fans. You know, that's the one thing that we know was a big um, big miss. Is obviously our fans. But in terms of the, the the restrictions that we have to do and the uh, stuff that we have to do to keep everything safe, it's fine. There's a lot, there's a lot of worse things people have to do with the whole COVID situation at the minute. So if this is what we have to do, obviously to be back playing football, then it's not too bad to do. It's okay. Is motivation ever an issue when you're coming out in front of an empty stadium? It must be quite sad seeing that at the start of a game. Uh, I wouldn't say. The motivation because whenever you walk on the pitch you know there's three points and you want to go and win and um, it's just obviously that little bit of you know 
remember when I first joined, walking out at the stadium and hearing the fans, you're always going to miss that massively, especially the fan base that we have. But in terms of the motivation to win, now because you know still another match, you still have to get the three points, especially for the fans that are watching the games and I follow. I've been asked to ask you about your your own pre-match preparation. Is it unique in any way at all? or No, not really. I just uh, get on the coach with the lads, just play a few cards, and just have chats, have a bit of a laugh. And I just come off, focus on the game in the change room, just chat about the game with a few of the players, listen to the music. And yeah, just pretty standard, really. Yeah. I have no superstitions or anything, just, yeah, pretty standard. Do any of the other lads have superstitions? Um, Any weird preparations or anything? Not really, no. Maybe Harry using half a bottle of hairspray every game. But (laughs) apart from that, apart from that, no, nothing else. He's got a lot of hair to look after now, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, he does, yeah. He does. (laughs)